everybody, welcome back. So today, I'm going to be doing a video that I've been planning on doing for over a month now. We are almost done with February, and this is something that I have been planning to do at least since January. So it hasn't been that long, but still. I haven't been able to film, like sit down and film this video. And so finally I'm doing that, and so yeah. Okay, so... Uh, in January, of course, I filmed my goals of 2018, um, and then this is just me going into more depth of, I mean, I, yeah, more depth into what I was talking about there, just that I realized these past few years that I have been putting so much of my attention and my priority into reading, and I've let so much... Uh, other stuff that I want to do, like uh, video games and movies and TV shows, I've let all those just, you know, uh, I left those by the wayside and I've, you know, I, I've never done anything. Um, I've been really, really wanting to just get back into playing video games and um, watching the movies. I, I have a ton of movies that I own that I have not watched and I've owned them for years and I've realized that. Um, it's funny because all five movies that I'm going to show you today are still wrapped in plastic. Because again, I haven't opened them because I haven't watched them. So, that's a problem. And these are just all ones that I have let go these past few years and been wanting to get back into. So, yeah. I have five categories and five things in each category. So, let's just get on to this. So, I have five movies, five TV shows, five anime, five video games, and five book series. Alright. We're going to start with the movies. Again, they're all wrapped in plastic. Can you tell? I mean, can you tell? Okay. This is awful. And, what's really nice is that... These are all book-to-movie adaptations. Um, I haven't read the book for all of these. I actually have only read one of the books. I started for uh, a couple of these, but I've only actually read one of the books. So we're going to start with that one. And that is The Book Thief. Yeah, the plastic is glaring, of course. This stars Jeffrey Rush, Emily Watson, and Sophie Nelis. Not sure if I said that right. Uh, I do love Jeffrey Rush. He is Barbosa in um, Pirates of the Caribbean. So, I mean, yeah. And I loved this book. I just, I knew I needed to be in the right mindset for this movie because the book just broke me. It was so heartbreaking, but just so beautiful. And I've been really wanting to watch a movie, but I just knew I had to be in the right mindset. So this year, I'm definitely going to make this a priority. All right. Uh... The ones that I've I started reading, so these are uh, in the, set in the same, this is the same series, okay? And that is The Hobbit. So I have Desolation of Smog and Battle of the Five Armies. These are uh, movies two and three. I've watched the first one like a couple of years ago, so I'm going to rewatch that one before going into these. But yeah, these are still wrapped in plastic because I haven't... Ugh. I'm upset because I really wanted to watch this. This one was like, an, you know, like really anticipated for me because Benedict Cumberbatch is smog and it has dragon smog and I'm just like, yes, I really, really want to watch this. And I do love Martin Freeman who is um, Watson in Sherlock. So, yeah, Bilbo. Why haven't I watched this yet? And with the third one too? I Gandalf and Bilbo and and I think I heard Legolas is in one of these as well. Could be in this one. I'm not entirely sure. But, oh no, I think it's in Smog. I think I see him. <laughs> I think I see him in one of the scenes. So yeah, I really, really want to get I just really want to watch those. Finally, I love Lord of the Rings too. I don't know why. It's taking me so long. Alright, next up I have Stardust. Oh my god, the glares. I'm so sorry. I should have just unwrapped these, but yeah, I didn't. Um, this, uh, this is Claire Danes, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Robert De Niro. I love Michelle Pfeiffer. 
I loved her in Batman as Catwoman. She was just awesome. So, like, dark, but so good. I loved it. Um, yeah, I've just, I've been really wanting to watch this for so long. I think it's on Netflix, too. I just haven't watched it. And I know Neil Gaiman wrote the book. And I've been thinking about picking that book up. I just, I don't know. I've, I've tried getting into Neil Gaiman before, and it never worked out. Alright, and the last one I have is Gone Girl. Um, this I know has Ben Affleck in it. Anybody else? Rosamund Pike. Okay, well, I can't remember what Rosamund Pike was in, but I know I've seen a movie with her. Let's see, does it tell you? Oh, and I think it's also got Neil Patrick Harris. Huh. Okay. Wow, I should have watched that. Okay, it does not say what she was in. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um... But yeah, I mean, I even got, like, the special editions. I had the book at one time, was going to read it, then I realized I really wasn't ever... Like, I only picked it up because of the hype, and because I've heard how good it was, but I realized it's not really my cup of tea, but I do own the movie, and these are, like... I do like watching movies for this kind of uh, stuff, but I don't really like reading books of it. So, we're gonna see. Um, so that's all the movies that I have for you guys. We're gonna get into TV shows. I only have two out of the five that I'm going to show you, and then the other three I'm just gonna talk about. Uh, first off we have Outlander, and of course, Outlander. I've actually finished this, so this I've completed. This is the only one out of this entire video that I've completed, but hey. I'm getting there. I did, uh, I watched this in January and freaking loved it. And, uh, if you can tell, I have the books right there. Uh, so yeah, I loved Outlander. It was amazing. And then I also have The Musketeers. This is on BBC. This is a Three Musketeers, um, you know, retelling show. I don't know if it's a retelling because it goes off, but, but it's an adaptation of The Musketeers. That's what I was going for. Um... And yeah, I just, I've watched, I've watched this season, actually. I own all three seasons. I've watched this season. I loved it. I don't know why I haven't continued on. Aramis is my favorite. I love him. That's Aramis right there. He's so hot. Uh, I love D'Artagnan. He's so cute. And I love all of them, actually. Athos, Pothos, um, D'Artagnan, Aramis. It was so good. Why haven't I watched it? Alright, I'm so sorry if you can hear my family in the background. They're so loud. I try to get them to shut up. <laughs> they don't. At least tone it down a little. That would that would be nice. But no, of course not. And we have very thin walls, so... Of course. I'm so sorry. Alright, uh, then I have Supernatural. I think I got to like season 9 before just letting it go. Um, I, I do plan on, you know, picking it up again and, f you know, continue on with the series. I just feel like it's been so long because I think we're on season 14 now. So it's been like five years and I, I keep, you know, hearing good things and I know, you know, some people are back that I'm like, holy crap, now I really want to watch this and I miss Dean. I never was a big fan of Sam, but I miss Dean and I miss Castiel. <sighs> Yeah, there was one season I absolutely hated, and that was the uh, Leviathan series, or that season. A awful. That season was the worst. But I would really like to get back into it. Um, I remember really loving where I was le where I left off. I just didn't have the time to keep watching it. Um, and then we have Gilmore Girls. I I have actually watched the entire show a long time ago, like when I was in high school. I loved it. It was amazing. And so I decided to do a rewatch for A Year in the Life, which I think came out, what, like two, three years ago? Maybe two? I think we're on two years now. <sighs> of course, my rewatch ended like season four. I just couldn't continue on. I just didn't have the time. At the time when I was watching it, um, I, I don't know what it was, but my watching it was causing uh, our data to just slow down so much because uh, I was watching it like all day and you can't do that in my house because we have so much going on. We have computers running, uh, systems going, uh, cell phones, everything. So 
Yeah, it was like, you are limited to, like, one episode a day. And I'm like, I can't do that. So, I think we fixed that. I'm not entirely sure, but I hope we did, because I'm going to start watching it. Um, but yeah, I would really like to get back into Gilmore Girls. I think, again, I was leaving off in a, a pretty good spot. Uh, and then 13 Reasons Why. Okay, so I just heard some really controversial news. Um, I heard some things about Jay Asher that I wish I never heard. I still plan on watching the show. Just because I have read the book a long time ago when I was in high school. And I really loved the book. I enjoyed it so much. It resonated with me so well. And I would really like to see 13 Reasons Why. It's what, like two years later ever since it came out? And everybody watched it but me. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one who hasn't watched it yet. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'm going to watch it. I just, I wish I never heard the news about Jay Asher. I mean, it's sickening, really. It really is, but I'm still going to watch the show. I still want to see if it's a good adaptation. Uh, I, I own the book, so I'm planning on actually reading that again. Um, but yeah, I, I don't support what the author did. Um, but it won't, you know limit my enjoyment. If I do uh, enjoy the show, then it won't stop me from enjoying it. Uh, okay, so that's it for the shows. Let's go on to the anime here. I'm really sorry. This might actually be a really long video as well. I was kind of hoping to not have it so long, but what can you do? Alright, so I have four out of the five anime in physical form. I just don't own the, f the fifth one. Uh, and actually... The first one isn't really a DVD. This is the five anime, and the first one I have is just a print. Uh, Sailor Moon Crystal. I don't own the anime. I wish I did. I own the original anime, but I'm not going to get it out because it's actually, like, um, you know, stuck in there. And I I'd have to take a lot of stuff down to get that out, and I'm not doing that. Uh, and also, that's the original anime. I want to watch Crystal, and this is a print of Crystal. So, yeah. Uh, it's funny, my brother actually received this when he went to ASEN uh, a few years ago when Crystal was uh, just being announced. And, of course, he didn't want this, and I, I stole it, because I'm like, this is mine. This is mine. It's Sailor Moon, first off, of course. And it's Sailor Moon Crystal, which I still have yet to watch. I watched, I think, almost all of the first season. I didn't watch all of it, but I was so close to finishing that. And then I have to get into season two. Um, the thing is, I think I stopped watching it when I heard that it had been canceled. And I was really upset by that. Uh, I believe it was um, uh, the person directing or whatever had stepped down. And they had to find a new uh, director or whatever you call it for anime. Uh, I don't even know. a new crea It's not a creator, but yeah, a new director for uh, the third season. And the season's continuing, uh, however long they decide to continue. And I think it was the third season I was, like, really, really wanting to watch. And I was so upset. And then I found out that they had found a new director, and I was like, okay, I'm back. I really want to watch it, and I just haven't done it yet. Um, season three is over. I think it's coming out on DVD very soon. So, but I do really, really want to get into this again. And, of course, Salem is my favorite anime of all time. This is something I really should get into. Alright, then we have one that I was really loving and then just stopped watching, uh, and that is Fairy Tale. Uh, this is Collection 5. I have watched, of course, all the way through uh, until 5. So, this is the one collection I own that I haven't watched, I believe. 6 is out, I know. I think 7 actually might be out. The collections are only uh, 25 episodes long. What I really love about these is they come in um, DVD as well as Blu-ray. So I really love that, and that's why I get these. Um, so you're getting 20, you're, it's technically 50 episodes, but it's 25 DVD, uh, 25 Blu-ray. So whatever you decide that you want. And these actually, um, I get them when they're on sale. So sometimes they could be like $25, which is super cheap for this. Um, so yeah, I just... I'm waiting, um, 
I'm waiting to get six. I think I was waiting for that to go down and for me to have the money for that. And then, yeah, I just really want to continue on watching this. I believe the anime is over. Uh, I don't watch it on Crunchyroll. I actually could start watching it on Crunchyroll. I just, I've been really liking getting these. I don't have all of these. I think I'm missing the first two. Because I started, I watched the first uh, 48 episodes on Netflix when Netflix had it. Or, you know, they never continued on after 48, which really upsets me. Um, so then I just decided to buy the collections after that. And so, yeah. And then I also have the movie, which is Phoenix Princess. Uh, so, yeah, this is... I, I have no excuse for not watching this. I really should watch this. And, yeah. <sighs> I really want to. I don't know anything about it. Um, but yeah, I just, I was really enjoying Fairy Tale and then I just stopped watching it. Alright. And then we have another that I have, uh, Inuyasha. This is a classic. I have actually watched all of Inuyasha. I love Inuyasha. It was so amazing. I was in high school and I loved it. I know it's, um, it's an older anime, so it's like Sailor Moon. It's a classic. And, yeah, it's cheesy, and it's not, you know, it's not amazing like the ones that are out now, but I loved it. And I would really like to get back into it. But the way it ended, the original anime, really upset me because it didn't end. There was no end. It says, uh, episodes 1 to 167, end. No, it's not the ending. The ending was so bad. And that is why... I'm sorry, I just got a notification. That is why I, um... I was... I was so upset uh, when I finished the anime. And I was watching it on TV at the time. And it was funny because I remember all of my friends were like, What the frick just happened? Why did they end it like that? Nothing ended. Naraku, the, uh, the villain of the show, was still around, still wreaking havoc. Uh, Inuyasha Kagome... Nothing happened with them. I mean, it was literally like nothing happened. They just ended it. And you're like, what the hell happened? So, a few years, I think, after that, we heard about Final Act, which is the continuing on after the end. The end. Um, so you get episodes 1 to 26. End. And then this also comes with the four, the four movies, which I'm actually, like, really wanting to know um I don't know if I've watched the fourth movie I know I've watched three of them but I'm not sure if I've watched four uh, I don't even remember what four was I'm not even sure um but yeah this is supposed to end everything and I really really want to watch this but before I do I'd really like to get uh and familiarize myself with the re the original anime so that I would like to do this year. And then, of course, I would really love to watch Maid-sama. Because you all know, if you've watched my videos, how much I love, love Maid-sama. Uh, I've read the manga. I got, I read all uh, 18 volumes in um, the two-in-ones. And I loved it so much. And so I had to get the anime and watch this too. But I haven't... Um, I haven't watched it for whatever reason. I think I'm really scared that it won't end. There are some animes which really upset me. I'm sorry, I still have a little bit of a cold. It just won't go away. I've had this for months. Um, so, okay. So some anime, like Fruits Basket, if you watch that, uh, it the anime says it's completed, but it's not. Like, okay, the anime is completed, but you didn't you didn't go through the entire manga series. You only went through half. And then that's completing it? <laughs> that's not even a completion. That That's the middle. <laughs> that's literally the middle of it. And that really upsets me because it's like, I would like to see the entire anime, the entirety. <laughs> um, but they only do half. And yeah, they are like, it's done, it's completed. They kind of end it in an okay time. Or, an, you know, an okay scene. But it's like, I know there's more. <laughs> I know there's more. So give me more. So I'm really afraid. Skippy was also another one that did that. I'm really afraid that this will do this as well. Because there is only 27 episodes. 
I really hope that this completes because I know what the ending is of the manga and I would like to see it in anime form. So we'll see. The last anime I want to talk to you guys about is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I, in high school, a lot of these are high school uh, related, I watched the original Full Metal Alchemist and loved it. It was so good. I, I loved Edward and Alphonse and Roy Mustang and just everybody. It was so amazing. And I never actually went on to its sort of like how Salem and Crystal came out. Um, another like adaptation, not an adaptation, but you know what I mean? Like another take on uh, where they could go with it. I think they did that with Brotherhood as well. I'm still not entirely sure what Brotherhood really is. Um, if it's like them, if it's like another take on uh, Full Metal, instead of like going one way, it goes another. I'm not entirely sure. I would really have to rewatch the original anime first, but I really just want to see Brotherhood, so I'm not going to do that. But maybe later on, I will watch the original anime and see exactly what. Uh, things are different. I'm not entirely sure, but I would really like, I need to watch Brotherhood, especially since it's one of, like, the best animes out there. So, yeah, I would really like to see that. It's one of my brother's favorite animes, and I know my other brother is watching it, so. Alright, uh, okay. So now we're on to video games. I'm saving the books for last. So now we're on to, uh, my video games. I have five here that I own that I have just not played. Um, I think I have started, I've started four of these and have not finished them. And I, I do that a lot. Video games, it's just, I really love video games and I love playing them, but it's so hard for me to just stick with it and continue on because sometimes they just, they're like, oh, it's okay. You know, I'm still playing it. I'm still, but like, if it gets to a hard part, I'm like, Okay, I'm going to have to do a lot to get out of this part, so, yeah. Uh, the first one I have is Tales of Asteria. Um, this is one of the newer installments in the Tales series. I never played the Tales series before this. Uh, this was literally, this is the first time I had ever heard of the Tales series. And this, it looks really good, and I decided to buy it, and I, I bought it, I played it. I bought this full price, too, because I was like, I'm gonna wait till it goes down, and then I saw gameplay of it, and I'm like, nope, you know what, we're going. We're going right now, and we're gonna go buy it, because it just looks so good. I started playing it, and I freaking loved it, um, but I just got to a hard part, or I just, I got to a part where I knew I'd have to grind a lot, and at the time, I really wasn't in the mood to grind, so I had put it down. Um, I really wasn't playing anything at that time either, so I just put it down, and in Tales of Bursary, it came out, which is a prequel to this one. And I played that in its entirety and loved it. So I'd really like to... And there are some things that you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? And it's just, I would really like to get back into this and be like, I know you now. Oh my god. Yes. So, okay. I would really like to play that one uh, and finish it. I think I got like, I actually think I got maybe halfway. I'm so upset by that. Uh, Darksiders 2... Uh, this is the defini definitive edition. Sorry. Ugh. I'm sorry. This cold is kicking my ass. Alright, so this is Death's uh, game, of course. Uh, the first one, Darksiders 1, was War. And then the third one is coming out sometime this year, I don't know when. Uh, and that will be Fury, the first female of the group. And I'm just freaking loving that. I cannot wait for Fury. She looks badass. Um, Death... Okay, I when I when this first came out or when this was first announced, I was so here for it. Death is my favorite of the entire of the Four Horsemen. Death is my favorite. So when I found out he was getting his own game, like this is his story, I was like yes. And this is following Wars, so I was like okay, this is gonna be great. Um, I just it kind of took a turn with this one. I feel like. <sighs> Like, it's not exactly in the same format as one, and I just was kind of bored, but I would really like to finish this so I could go into Furies when it comes out. I really want to get three. Um, so yeah, I really have to finish this one. 
And then we have Uncharted. This is the trilogy, the whole Nathan Drake collection. I'm only going to talk about one, um, uh, Uncharted Drake's Fortune. This, that's the only one I'm going to talk about. I'm not going to try and get the whole trilogy done this year, uh, but I would really like to get one. This is like a Tomb Raider with Nathan Drake. It's like a male Tomb Raider, and okay, I, I want to play it. I love Tomb Raider. I love Lara Croft. So, and then a lot of people ship Lara Croft with Nathan Drake, so I really want to know how that, you know, it's, it's not, you know, real or anything. It's just fandom ships, and I'm like, I would really like to know, you know, if Nathan Drake is as good as everyone says he is, and my friend played it and really loved it, so, yeah. Uh, and so the next two games, or the last two games, I have to say, are both Final Fantasy. And if you don't know, Final Fantasy is one of my all-time favorite games. The only problem is with Final Fantasy is that there's 15 out so far, um, and as well as, like, the little, like, the city end tactics and all that. But there's 15 games out, or at least 15, how do I say it? 15 different, like, world kind of games. <sighs> This is hard. So, like, there's sequels to a couple of them, or, yeah, to a few of them, but there's 15 different Final Fantasies, okay? If that makes any sense, I'm sorry. So, the two I have is 12 and 4. So, I have not played all of the Final Fantasies. I don't think they'll ever happen. My all-time favorite is 10, but I've played 10, 13, a little bit of 15, a little bit of 7, a little bit of 12, and that was it, I think. I played some of Dissidia, I've played, like, 7 Crisis Core, which I loved. I loved Crisis Core, but I never actually finished 7, which I know is just awful, but, you know, it was a long time ago. I think I still have it. I just can't play it now because, well, PS4 won't take PS1 games. But hey, it's supposed to be being remade, remastered, or yeah, remade onto the PS4, so I want that very badly. Alright, so we have 12, which is uh, the Zodiac Age. Technically, I'm kind of cheating with this one, but so all of these that I'm talking about, every single uh, item on this video or whatever that I'm talking about are uh, backlist. Okay, they're all backlist uh, ones that I've had for so long that I haven't played or watched or read or anything. This one I technically bought this year. In January. I bought this last month. But this is a remastered of, you know, a game that came out years and years ago. And I played it years ago. And I hated it. But that's because I was coming off of 10 and 10 is my absolute favorite Final Fantasy game, hands down. So, I wasn't really liking 12 much, because it had nothing to do with 10, which, you know, at the time I was really young, I didn't know. Um, also, I didn't like the battle system with it, because I really loved 10's battle system. So, I'm going to try and give this another, ch another chance, and see if I like it now. Though I hear it's, a lot of people don't really like it, but... We'll see how this goes. I would really like to just finish that. And then four is one that I have heard good things about. I played Dissidia, and Dissidia has the, um, all of, uh, what's it called? All the characters in Dissidia are characters from each, uh, game. So, uh, Cecil, or Cecil, however you say his name, is the main character in four, and he's one of the characters that I really like in Dissidia. So... I wanted to get this and I've had that for quite some time I actually had this in multiple copies for the PSP I had the PSP version that came out really sad that that didn't work out as well but then it came out with the DS one as well so got that okay so now we can get out of books this is gonna be over 30 minutes long I'm really really sorry but you know what can I do so the first book series and these are all book series that I believe are completed there's one on here that I'm not entirely sure of. Actually, there's two, because I'm not entirely sure if the last one in this series is completed, or is the completion. I believe so, 
but I'm not entirely sure. And that is the uh, Agency series by Y.S. Lee. The first one is A Spy in the House. He's all got a new cover change, which I love these covers. Um, here is the last three. The one that I, The Rivals in the City, that's the only one I haven't read in the series, but I'm planning on rereading the first three going into the fourth. I'm not entirely sure if it's the end. I believe it's the end. I think I've heard that it's the end. But I'm not entirely sure because I haven't read it yet. So, to my, the best of my knowledge, it's completed. And yeah, I would really like to get back into the series and read it and complete it. This is one of my favorite series from high school. So, we'll see if I still enjoy it now. Uh, next, I had the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor. I have read this. Actually, with all of these, I've read at least the first one, if not more, like in this series. Uh, and in another series. But these are just ones I would really like to continue and finish. So Daughter of Smoke and Bone I have read and enjoyed. Um, I didn't love it as much as a lot of other people. I thought it was really well written and I loved the characters. I was kind of like, not confused, but just like thrown, you know, like just thrown by stuff that was happening in this. But I, I definitely interested in to you know finally finishing continuing and finishing with this now um because I just finished Stranger Dreamer last year and fucking loved it so yeah I'm really excited to get back into more of her works because I really do love Lady Taylor's writing and I cannot wait to uh continue and finish this and see how this goes and then I have Serafina, the only duology on this list. It's a freaking duology, and I've only read the first one. I own the second one. I've owned it for so long. Uh, this one came out in 2012. I think the second one came out 2015? I think so. So it was years later. And I loved this one. I really did. And I really want to get into Shadow Scale, which is the second one. And then, of course... Another book in this series is coming out, though it's more of a companion, so it's not exactly uh, in the same series. But it is of another character, Tess, which I believe is Serafina's sister. I think so. I think it's like her sister or half-sister or something. And I am just really wanting to get that one, so I really need to read this, reread this one and then finally finish Shadow Scale. And I'll be good. And then the last two that I have are ones that you already know about. Because how many years have I said that I was going to complete these series and I haven't done it yet? <sighs> I know. First one is Aragon by Christopher Paolini. Also, Christopher Paolini blurbed Serafina. Which is why I picked up Serafina first off. Also, uh, Misty from Book Rat Misty just raved about it for so long. She's also how I found out about Tess. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, Aragon by Christopher Paolini. I have read all of these in high school. I've read the first three. So, Aragon, Eldest, and Bersinger. Uh, Inheritance came out like a year, no, maybe years after I had read Bersinger. And Bersinger was supposed to be the end. It was supposed to be a trilogy only. It was supposed to be the end. And then when you got to the end of Bersinger... There's like a little caption saying, oh, it'll continue on in the fourth book coming soon. Not happy. I was so upset because I was like, I finally finished it. Yay. And then you got to the very end and you're like, that's not an ending. What is going on? And then you read it and you're like, there's another one. Well, that's awful. Okay. So I never actually got into Inheritance. So yeah. Um, but I really loved Aragon, and I really loved Debra Singer. Eldest is another story. And I think I've read this one three times, and I still cannot pick up Eldest. But I am making it a must for this year. I am sick and tired of seeing it on my shelf unread. I would like to finally finish it. And then the one series that I am not entirely sure if this is a completed series now is a Tiger's Curse series by Colleen Hoke. I have Tiger's... Okay, here they are. So here's Tiger's Curse. Okay, really beautiful covers. Tiger's Quest, Tiger's Voyage, and then Tiger's Destiny. And then I also have Tiger's Promise, I believe, on my phone. I think it's like a prequel or something. So yeah, I have read Tiger's Curse and Quest. 
um, Voyage and Destiny I haven't touched. And I was really excited to have Destiny uh, because now it was completed. And then I think I heard something like a year or so uh, ago that it wasn't a completed series, that there might actually be more to it. And I was not happy because I'm like, well, now I don't even want to touch it because it's not completed. And I just want to marathon them all and finish it. Because even though I love Tiger's Curse so much, Quest was not... Quest took a turn that I just did not like. So, yeah. Alright guys, that is that is everything. I am so sorry this is a like 40 minute video and there's nothing I can do about it. That's just how it's going to be. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, if there's any anime or TV shows or games or books or anything that you guys have uh, wanted to pick up and haven't done it, let me know. I could talk about it in the comments below. So thank you guys so much for watching again and I'll see you next time. Happy reading.